Hello and welcome back to the Barrett Tech channel once again for a brand new video. Today we were able to get some hands-on footage with the Xiaomi Mi 10 and the Mi 10 Pro, which is brilliant. We went into the Xiaomi store because we do actually live in Shenzhen, China, um, and they have just been, they have already been released. Um, you know, the Mi 10 has already been released a few days ago, but the Mi 10 Pro doesn't release for another couple of days, but they've got them in store to be able to use. Um, this video is basically going to be honing in on what the differences are between the two phones and you know you can make your own decision on whether it's worth upgrading to the pro because they do actually come at about a 20 percent price difference the lowest spec mi 10 comes in at 570 us dollars whereas the mi 10 pro is coming in at about 715 to 720 uh, so i'll let you make your own choices Enjoy the hands-on footage with the two phones and I'm going to get straight into the similarities and the differences. So straight into the outlook of the phone, the aesthetics are exactly the same. The same weight, dimensions and you know it totally looks exactly the same. The buttons are in the same place and whatnot. They've both got a 6.67 inch AMOLED screen at 1080 by 2340 res and a 90Hz refresh rate. They've both got dual SIM cards and Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and a glass back. So the outlook and the aesthetics are exactly identical. When it comes to the internal specifications on the phone, they are both running the top end Snapdragon 865 and Octa-Core CPUs. And they both have different options for 12 and 8 gigabytes of RAM. Um, but the Pro is only able to get up to 512 gigabytes of internal storage. Um, where the Mi 10, ori the original Mi 10 can only get a maximum of 256 gigabytes internal storage. So the cameras on the phones are the biggest difference between the two. Um, you're basically mainly going to be paying for a camera upgrade as well as a couple of other things uh, with the Mi 10 Pro. So the original Mi 10 has got 108 megapixel wide lens, 13 megapixel ultra wide, a 2 megapixel macro sensor and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. Whereas with the 10 Pro, you're getting the same main camera, 108 megapixel wide lens, but then you're getting an upgrade from 13 to a 20 megapixel ultra wide. You're then getting two extra lenses at 12 megapixel portrait lens and an 8 megapixel telephoto lens. So definitely the camera is is quite a nice upgrade. Um, you know, if you are going to be wanting to um, have it as, you know, your everyday use camera and something that you might want to take video on as well, then it might be worth upgrading to the Pro. When it comes to video, both phones can take 8K footage, which as I mentioned previously is just insane. Um, they both do 8K at 30 FPS and 4K at 60 FPS. Whereas the 1080p version is a little bit different between the two. Um, the Mi 10 can only do it at 60 frames a second, whereas the uh, 10 Pro can do it up to 960 frames per second. So if you wanna get those proper slow-mo shots in post, then you're gonna be wanting to use the, the 10 Pro. When it comes to the selfie camera, both phones are running the same pretty much anyway. They both have a 20 megapixel wide lens and they both do video at 1080 at 30 FPS. Whereas the only difference is the Mi 10 cannot record um, on the front camera at 720p, whereas the 10 Pro can record at 720p at 120 frames per second. As for the sound rails, they've both got the same stereo speakers, which is an upgrade from the Mi 9, but is exactly the same between the 10 and the 10 Pro, and neither phones come with a headphone jack. The comms are exactly the same, they're both running Wi-Fi 6 instead of Wi-Fi 5 and they've both got Bluetooth 5.1. The battery is the next thing which is a bit different but as opposing to what you would probably think, the original Mi 10 has actually got a slightly larger battery at an extra 230 milliamp hours. Um, the Mi 10 has got the 4780 and the Pro has got a 4500 which I guess with the other upgrades on the specs, they may have needed to make a little bit of extra room um, and therefore decided to downgrade on the battery. But we'll have to test that out and see, you know, sort of how how big of a, you know, difference that is. 
when it comes to charging, the Mi 10 has only got fast charge at 30 watts, but the um, 10 Pro can actually charge at 50 watts, which is actually going to be you know a whole bunch faster. And you can actually upgrade the 50 watt charger to a 65 watt, but that doesn't actually come inside the box. Both have wireless charging at 30 watts and reverse wireless charging at 10. The colors, this is another thing which is totally different between the two. The Mi 10 is going to come in an ice blue, peach gold and a titanium silver, whereas the Pro is going to be coming in pearl white and starry blue. So I guess, you know, you're able to show off the fact that you've got the Pro uh, because they only come in slightly different colours and no one's going to be thinking that you've got the, uh, the original 10. So as you can see, there's really not a big difference between the two phones. Um, I think a lot of uh, companies now use it as kind of a marketing strategy uh, to sell, you know, the, the, the better phone because really in this phone the only things you're getting that are different are slight camera improvements um, faster charging and different colors other than that you've pretty much got an identical uh, phone so if you are not wanting to carry around you know a, a DSLR um, obviously a DSLR camera is a lot better but if you're not wanting to kind of carry around a second camera and you're still wanting to snap good photos and good video especially if you're doing video um, then you're probably going to want to, you know, upgrade to the 10 Pro. But if you're not, then, you know, for $140, $150 difference, can you really justify such a small difference between the two phones? You know, um, it, it's kind, it, it's about a 20% difference on the price of the phone for not that many upgrades. So I'll let you be the, the judge of that. Um, you know, you can make your own decisions. Maybe let me know down in the comments if you think the upgrade to the Pro is actually worth it. Um, personally, I think I'd get the Pro just because I am quite into a, you know, a good camera. I do like to take nice photos um, and, you know, I could use it as a second video camera as well as, you know, the, the ones we already do use. So that would be quite helpful. Um, yeah, as I said, let me know down in the comments. If you did like this video, please smash the thumbs up as it really helps to get the channel out there as it's just recently started. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.